So, the org. Now, when these games are being developed, I'd love to know who does the testing. You know, like they get like so many people involved. I will have a massive play test. We'll try all the weapons uh, and we'll see how we get on. Now, I'm guessing they get quite a few people in the same lobby and use all the guns and just like, we'll, we'll see what's there, what's that, what needs balanced. So if one of them play testers have set up the org, you know, like, and he started to use it, or she started to use it. Why have they not turned around and said, okay, so this thing's a little bit overpowered. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because I've been using this. This took me about four hours, five hours to get gold, man. Because it's, it's just crazy, the damage. Once you start getting the attachments for it, man, it, the damage is ridiculous. I've had a few, a few people commenting saying, I dropped a nuke with this one. This gun's overpowered. And... Like, you all know I don't like burst weapons and I don't like single fire guns. <laughs> but I had so much fun with this weapon. It's, it's like, it's not even funny, man. Like, it's, it's just so overpowered. It's crazy, man. But obviously, I've, I've seen some things on Reddit, on Twitter, on YouTube and stuff saying, like, oh, oh, best gun in the game. Org's overpowered. But I never really, like, take any interest because I, 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 I judge it myself when I start using the weapon if I, I believe it, it's good or it's bad. Like I say, like, man, I don't like single fire guns, I don't like burst fire guns. So I started doing the org and I was like, oh, yeah, it's all right. You know, like, but then when you drop certain attachments on it, man, it's like the range that you can do a one burst to somebody, it's just ridiculous. And I can imagine it annoys the player who's been killed by this because I've been killed by this gun so many times from a range and it's a one burst. And I'm like, you know what? That's just pure, pure craziness, man. It really is. And it's like, Whoever give the go-ahead on this weapon to say, yeah, the org's balanced. You know, <laughs> it's mad, like, who, who, who would say that, man? It's, like, it's ridiculous. But if any of you boys are doing your tactical rifles now, the camos, I recommend doing the M16 and doing the org right now before they get absolutely nerfed into the ground at the start of Season 1 because the org's got to be at the top of the list. It's got to be at the top of the list. It's just ridiculous. I'm going to throw the class up for you. So if you do want to use this class, just, just go ahead, man. Like it's the one burst that it, it just just try it. Okay, so with with this overpowered weapon, um, ignore all this. I've just set this gun up because I always like use one class when I'm doing my camos. So on the org, as you will probably know, the mill stop, very clean, works works for this. Anything works for this. But yeah, muzzle. I was using the suppressor. I know people use like a compensator, but I just like the suppressor to keep you off the map. On certain weapons, it's, it's, it works. On this, it works. Barrel is the last barrel because of your bullet velocity, as always. You do need that in this game because if you don't, it just feels like you shot them, not like Reggie. It's, it's weird. And you probably know the target team spotlight is going to be on the weapon. No problem at all because it just helps with uh, visibility and it just it's my favourite thing in the game. And then uh, magazines was the last fast mags. I love the fast mags in this game. It just um. Some weapons I'm just so slow, but on this game when you drop these mags on, it just it's 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 just like a blessing for the gun. So yeah, I always run fast mags all the time. But with these tactical rifles, I always think in every, every game that gets released, oh, I'm not looking forward to doing these. And I had the same experience with the first one, which was the Type 63, I think. Yeah, and then the M16 come after that. Yeah, and the M16 I didn't really have a good time with that one. To be fair, I know people say it's overpowered and that, but in my opinion, I don't really think it needs a nerfing. To be honest, I just think certain other weapons need bringing up to try and match it. But with the org, the org's just the org does need a nerf, 100%. I know people say, "Oh, we've got to stop nerfing the weapons and bringing other guns up." Yeah, you have, but it's a limit because like the one burst range on this weapon is ridiculous. It's like. You know you're going to get the kill, man. If you hit your target, you're going to get the kill. 100%. And, like, you could even drop a, like, a higher scope on this just to make your visibility even better. I just prefer the mill stop on so many guns in this game because I've always, in all, all COD games, I always use red dot dot sights. I just like them. They're just clean for me. And I don't know if it's because I play on PC or not. I'm not sure, but even if I was to play Warzone, I use red dots. Do you know what I mean? The only eye scopes that I use would be on sniper rifles. I want to sort of go back to where the, if there is a playtest. I mean, I, the say that there is like people who do playtest the games and check everything before the game launches for, uh, for the balance. 
I'm pretty sure the org was just invisible to the developers when like they was doing the playtesting because I know we've come across some ridiculously overpowered weapons in COD games, but you know, like, I was using this. I've, I, I use it mainly in Newtown. I did throw in a bit of combine arms, but re look, realistically, I was using this like an SMG, man. Like, it, it was just every kill that I was popping off with it, it just felt like me and my pals, like, we got our own Discord and play every night, man. And um, a couple of the like the boys and playing Cyberpunk at the mini, so I'm, I'm still grinding out the camos. So when I was doing like this, um, the, uh, the org, I was every time I was killing someone, I, I was like, oh man, these things are overpowered, like you know what I mean. <laughs> and that was pretty much on every single kill, because that's how it feels. It just feels so strong. And like I said, man, if you're doing the tax now, start with the org and then the M16, and before the nerf this, because I've got a feeling that this org is just going to be useless. Come season one, I really think that the org is going to be nerfed into the ground, man. I really do. And I've said this before, like, I don't like burst weapons, I don't like single fire weapons. But my next video after the org video is going to be on the DMR 14. I think it's 14. And I had such a good time with that weapon. <laughs> it's like, it's slowly become my favourite weapon. If you was to check my creator class, I have already, I've got it saved right at the bottom. Because I never ever want to lose that class. Because I was just having so much fun with that gun. I did a full on DMR and I was using a red dot dot scope on it and I was just popping off. Like, it just felt great, man. So keep your eye out for that next video because I had so much fun. So as always, I just want to say thank you for everybody who's subscribing to my channel. I've said it before, every single time that I wake up in the morning, there is more people subscribed to the channel. And I'm loving now that there's more people commenting on the videos and I'm, I'm, I'm interacting with all of you guys, man. It's just them. Um, it's great man, I'm enjoying it. It's, it, it's really fun. And I love putting these videos together as well. But yeah, like I have said, keep an eye out for that DMR video because that gun is fantastic. So yeah man, nice one.